Humanity has its sights set back on the moon. So what do we need to survive long periods of time up there? And what do we need to make our own? We need oxygen, water, food, power, and protection from the lack of atmosphere, which on Earth protects us from radiation and extreme temperature changes. It sounds like a lot, so how do we get all of this to the moon? The heavier a rocket is, the more expensive it will be. So we should look to see what we have on the moon to use already. Spacecraft have detected water ice at the moon's poles, which could be used for water, oxygen and rocket fuel. Scientists are also working on using regolith, or moon dust, as cement. We haven't got any moon dust to build our moon base, so we'll be using things from around the house. I've collected bottles, tissue boxes, toilet roll tubes, tin foil, paper, anything I could find. And not forgetting something to decorate your moon bases with. Maybe the first thing we need is a machine to process lunar regolith for water, which can be split into hydrogen and oxygen. I covered my box with paper and drew on my machine design. The next challenge was food. We could grow food in a greenhouse that uses water and oxygen from our machine. My greenhouse is half an old bottle. There's no wind on the moon for wind turbines, but there is sunlight. We can make solar panels, and I used a piece of cardboard wrapped in tinfoil. Then we need protection from the lack of atmosphere, the temperature changes, radiation and meteor strikes. My house is made from an old bottle and some tinfoil. How would we get around? Toilet rolls make great wheels for lunar rovers. Put them all together and we have our moon base. Do you think you'd want to go and live on your moon base for up to a month at a time? We hope you enjoy building your moon bases and maybe one day you'll be living on the moon.